history. Yeah, I mean, you don't know what the hell happened out there. Dude, I hope my season's good. I didn't tell anybody this, but I'll tell you. But, uh, like, probably like five or six months ago, my older sister got diagnosed with a kid. Father? Really? And, uh, it was, yeah, I mean, you can imagine. Like, it was crazy. Like, at 28? Like, I mean, I, I don't know, man. It's, and that's why that's why I'm going to the her half marathon. It's for leukemia. It's for uh, leukemia yeah. from San Francisco to raise money for, like, research. But, like, and then she went to her second doctor, and they were saying that it wasn't leukemia. They were saying it was just something about a blood cell count. And she said, like, uh, I don't know. They, they were kind of unclear. They were just like, it's just a deficiency. Yeah. Like your white blood cell count, you have to take this medicine, you have to monitor it. But she was getting sick all the time, you know what I mean? Yeah. But dude, it, it hit my family so hard. I mean, you can imagine, I mean, how big of a deal. Yeah. And even for me, like, she's my only full sister, because, like, I mean, she's yeah. the closest thing to me. But, uh, I mean, when I left, I was so content. Like, when I left, I was like, you know, if anything, I thought, when I called my parents, I was like, if anything, anything, like, you call, and I will fucking leave this house, yeah. you know, as soon as anything happens, or whatever. Um, what did you find out? Did you find out anything before you left? Um, you know, I talked to her, and she felt fine. She was getting everything monitored over and over again, you know, once a week. Um, the issue was that right now she might not have any issues, but if she gets sick, if it comes down with anything, that was going to be an issue. Be to play that exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, so as long as she stayed, you know, you know, healthy and stuff like that, then later on in life, that's the issue. You know what I mean? She's going to have to treat every sickness. Like, if she gets a fever, it's emergency room automatically. Um, but they don't really know. That's the scary part. It's like, you have one person saying, well, Kimi, my mom can't even call me. Because my, you know, right. my mom can't call me. My sister had to call and tell me because my mom could not call me. She has two kids, right? Yeah. Are the kids old enough to go? Or? I mean, okay. Gabe's like five, and Wyatt's like two and a half, three. So, no. But it's just like, when I left, it was a huge deal, you know, and I was yeah. like, I was very concerned leaving. But, um, but my sister, like I said, my sister's still running marathons and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, man. I mean, the thing is, is one day you can be perfectly fine, and the next day you find out you have fucking leukemia. Like that's what I didn't understand. I'm like, how? Like, there's no like reason, you know. But as of right now, man, everything is good. They, but the the effed up part is like, there's no answer. Like one part, one doctor says it's leukemia, that other says no. So what do you? kind of a scary thing but yeah I mean but that's the main reason we're going to, that is the reason we're going to say I mean at this point everything's you know cool she's good but if you get out of here dude she could be you know she could have got another medical opinion or, yeah, you know a specialist yeah. but it makes you appreciate man those relationships you have I mean, you never know like, what the hell happened like we were talking about your dad man it's I mean never that's enough. It's crazy. What do you think your dad was saying? <laughs> I mean, like, what? I mean, man of many, man of few words. He'll probably tell me good job, whether I win it or not. You know, I mean, that's about it. And he'll probably tell me, he'll probably say, like, what the hell were you thinking giving that speech? And, it's like, you know, here's what I'm saying, it's like you almost got burned the first week, huh? You know, or the, you know really? I'll say something like that. I mean, just joking around. Yeah. I don't know, it'd be interesting, man, because, I mean, your whole life is exposed to your family. I'm sure your mom never even knew you were this way. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I wonder. Like, your mom knows everything. I know, but still, she doesn't know you as a 25-year-old man, you know what I mean? I don't know, man, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know you She's never seen you check out a blind. Good. 
I looked at Keisha as an older sister. I got to be my sister. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's all she wrote. Nothing more than that. Okay, so the last thing I would say is to get you in trouble with Ashley. So you're the one that creeped so, around in her bedroom, man. So you comment about your sister's puppies all the time? Dude, I, I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. I think that came out of your mouth. <clears throat> Ashley, I love you. This guy is just, you can smack him when you see him. No, she's not going to smack him because I'm the only person that's mentioned your name on mod television. <laughs> <laughs> she missed that one episode out of here. Dude, remember when Jesse gave a shout out to Sheena? That was, that so, was awkward. so awkward. So awkward. He's like, I missed your birthday, but uh, happy 21st. Well, it's like you did it. When you did it, it was like subtle. Good, yeah, subtle. subtle. When you did it this time, it was fine. Cause yeah. It was a final two. Yeah. Fuck everybody. Yeah. Um, but like, with him, it was so awkward. And the fact they say no shout outs, and you know what I mean? He was like, and I want to send a shout out to my... <laughs> and I'm like, what? see, I didn't see, I kept it so it wasn't a shout out. You know? Yeah, exactly. This one I didn't really care because this was basically our live, live, yeah, live show. Yeah, who cares? I still didn't give it, it's like I just hope the renegade moms and girlfriends were proud. Absolutely not. Yeah, I remember when he did that. It was, that was weird. And it wasn't even as, I don't know, whatever. That's, I what, dude, I thought he might have what? Justin, when yeah. I first came really? Yeah, just because he's like, like, she have a girlfriend? He's like, no, not really. You know, and then you think of bodybuilder and guys yeah, and sweating. Some and <laughs> <laughs> Something was definitely up with him, though, man. Weird. That's like a guy that, like, at first, at first talking to, I was like, yeah, I could see myself hanging out with this guy. Afterwards, I, like, I couldn't see myself ever hanging out with that guy. Ever, ever, ever. After I heard the angel conversation, I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> I was sitting over there and I was like, dude, I don't even want to listen to what the hell they're talking about. Remember when going to the DR was a big deal? You know what I mean? Like you get called like once every five days when there's so many people. Really? No, we, I mean, we really didn't get called a ton. I didn't, at least not when you didn't. You might have got called. No, I don't think so. I guess not, man. I just remember getting very annoyed, like, when, like even still, yesterday, I was just like, ugh. When they're like, so explain to me what you see. You know, you're just like, dude, you see it. I'm, it's not like I'm on radio. <laughs> we're, we're not going to have to recap this last HOH. It was live. Yeah, no. No. Actually, yeah. But we're not going to show it Sunday. We're not going to recap it on... Well, maybe we haven't done Maybe you had a recap. I'm trying to think of the vines if I was like, I had to do that. That wasn't really live, though. It wasn't finished.